Hey everybody, welcome. I hope you're doing very fabulous. So today I want to get back into the Natasha Denona Golden Palette. I want to do something simple. Um, I don't want to get too too glamorous or too high glam. Um, I'm just going to go out and run some errands, but I do want to walk out of the house feeling pretty, feeling feminine, just feeling you know, proud about my makeup look. And of course I want to get into this palette and use it a little bit more. I have done two videos on this palette already. I will link them below. One was just like, you know, brand new. I, I did a couple different eye looks. The other video was comparing this to a ColourPop palette as a dupe. So I'll link those below. But before I get right into everything, my name is Carrie. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content. And for those of you subscribed, y'all are the best. I have the best subscribers. Thank you very much. So my face is already prepped. I do a foundation and my brows are done, but I'm going to get into, um, uh, concealer here. And this is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is their Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Concealer in LM9. I do really like the formula of this concealer. I think that it is a nice formula. This shade is a little, um, it, it's basically the same as my skin, I feel like. So it's not going to offer me a lot of brightness, but, um, you know, it's hard when you purchase something online. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge to blend it out. It's already damp. Normally, I like to use my Anissa uh, Pinnacle Concealer Brush. That is just so, so good. But, you know, I like to switch things up a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, the concealer is blended out. This does a really good job. If you guys are looking for, um, you know, maybe something a little less expensive than the Anissa, this e.l.f. Camo uh, Concealer Sponge, it's awesome. It has been or was my go-to for the concealer. I'm gonna set it with the Kat Von D Locket setting powder. Um, it used to be my go-to, but the Anissa brush is just so good. But that's a good, that's a good runner up right there. That, that sponge. I'm going to use a refer 35 in the powder just to set this, uh, real quick. Concealer is set. This is a really pretty good product. If you can find, I want to say I purchased mine from TJ Maxx. I think it was only like 10 bucks. All right, we need to bronze this face. I'm looking a little washed out. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take a Bobbi Brown. Um, this is just a small, like little sample size that I got from the cosmetics company store. It's a, it's a bronzer, but I don't, I think it's in light. It's, I can't get the little like piece of paper up, like lift it up to see what it is. So anyways, it's, this is what it is. It's a nice matte and I'm using my e.l.f. Um, Duo Complexion Brush. This is a great brush, you guys. If you do not have this brush, I highly recommend it. I don't really care too much for this side of it, but this side, it's amazing for bronzing, blush. <laughs> it's a really good brush. I'm going to do a little bit, but you can see I have dark spots, you guys. Over here, it's not so bad, but over here, it's a little bit, so it's it's worse on this side. But let's just do a little bit. Okay, just a little. I always try to go lighter on this side, but it's just, it's inevitable, you guys. It's just not. I give up. <laughs> All right. I think I hear my son, he's seven. He's usually when I'm filming, cause it's summertime. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit here. Normally I don't contour my nose, especially now because it's just so too hot in Florida right now. Um, but I figured, Hey, why not? But, um, you know, he, for the majority of the time he's home for the summertime. And usually when I film, I let him watch TV or, you know, play video games. I'm going to go in with um, a blush. This is Max uh, Matte Blush and Peaches. And I'm going to use a Refer 04. Um, so usually I let him, you know, do that to be occupied so that I can film. Well, he, the other day, 
he was so disrespectful and I mean, a rude. And, and when I say rude and disrespectful, not only to me, but to other people, I was mortified. Like as a parent, and I'm whispering because I'm sure he's probably could hear me. He's got bionic ears, but I was mortified. You guys, when I say I was mortified, like I was so embarrassed. Like I wanted to crawl under a rock and, and just never emerge again. But, um, I, his consequence was that no TV and no Nintendo switch for three days. So this is day three. Um, so he's been doing other things like, you know, building with his Legos, you know, like what he used to do before video games got introduced. Um, you know, building with his Legos or, um, practicing typing. He does know how to type or he's learning how to type. So I say the only thing, you know, social, not even social media, but only like tech wise that he could do is to get online and log into his typing account and type. Um, so I'm trying to hear, he's awfully quiet. So I, I imagine, cause I remember what it was like to be a kid. I imagine he knows I'm in here. He knows I'm going to be in here for at least 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe he's probably out there sneaking tech, sneaking snacks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But anyways, we're, um, we're going to get ready to go out of town. So by the time this video gets uploaded, we'll already be back. But, um, <laughs> I was like, I gotta film something first real quick and then we can go run our errands. Um, all right. So anyways, let's get into this palette. I'm only going to do one eye look. Normally I like to do two eye looks, but today I just want to do one eye look. Cause like I said, I'm just going to go out and run some errands. Um, and I just want to, I want to be pretty. I want to walk out the house feeling pretty. All right. So let's go into, where can I go into? Um, let's go into, uh, how about we just go into sandstone right here. We'll go into sandstone and I'm going to tap off. I'm using a Morphe. I'm not sure. It's a Morphe vegan eye brush. The funny thing that this brush or this line of brushes from Morphe is that they wrote the name of the brush almost like Braille, but in black. It's on here. It's raised just a little bit, but nobody can see it. I can't see it. Um, so I wish they could have contrasted it with some with some uh, gold or, you know, silver, some, anything. Um, very beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go do that on this eye. Okay, both eyes are done thus far. Very beautiful, blended beautifully. You know, I said this in one of my other videos when I was using this palette, in case you don't wanna watch it, I'll repeat it, but I think this palette would be really great for Christmas. I really do. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna go into whatever this shade is called, Maliko, M-L-I-K-O, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, so I'm gonna take that on a BK Beauty 203 brush and I'm gonna highlight the brow bone. This one is a um, cream to powder um, shade, but it is the lightest shade that is a matte. Um, and it does a pretty good job of highlighting the brow bone. I'm satisfied with that. I think it looks really nice. Okay, so now let's get into this outer V just a little bit. Like I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too involved with this outer V area. Um, but I do want to, how about we go into this shade right here? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Aria? Aria? <laughs> I'm taking a Sigma E27. It's a real small kind of detailed blending brush. And I'm going to start that on the outer third of the eye or the outer part of the eye and into the outer V area. It almost looks just like sandstone, to be honest. It's just a little bit darker. Take it into the crease. Yep, I hear him. I hear him getting into the chips. I hear him. And you know what? I always tell him, you got to eat your real food before you eat your junk food. But you know, he's seven. So, you know, well, I mean, what can I say? Like, it doesn't excuse, you know, misbehavior, of course. <laughs> 
That's why he's without tech for three days. Also, he was <laughs> so funny. If anybody has kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But also yesterday, he, I told him, I was like, okay, go get in the bath, wash yourself up. Cause we'd went to the theme park, you know, we're in the chlorine water, get, get that off of your body. So I tell him to go in there. Right. And he's, and then he's, I see him two seconds later, like out, you know, doing something else, playing with Legos or whatever. And I'm like, did you, did you go in the bath and do what I asked you to do? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, really? Cause you're only in there for like, literally like two seconds. It was just enough for me to like set our stuff down from the water park, like, you know? Um, and so I go into the bathroom. Okay. So first of all, the towel wasn't even moved. It wasn't all like jumbled up. Right. Cause you know, they, they'll just jumble up their towels. They won't lay it nice and neat, you know, so it could dry properly. And I was like, that's odd. So I look in the bathtub and, and not even wet. And then I like, I didn't even smell the soap. So I look at him and I go, Victor, did you wash yourself like I asked you to? And he says, yes, I did. So he lied. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I'm like, have I failed as a parent? Um, and so I was like, Victor, no, you did not because the, 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 it's nothing in there is wet. I don't smell soap. Nothing is moved around. I was like, why, why did you tell me that? Let me, let me take this underneath the lower lash line. I talk to you guys while I do this, that same color Aria. Um, I said, why did you tell me that you did it when you didn't? Or why did you tell me that you did do this when you didn't? Like you lied to me. He said, mom, because I didn't want to take a bath. So I'm going to get some glitter glue. I'm using AOA Studios Tacky Bay. So I got, so I pulled out a scripture that says, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Ephesians 6, 1. And I had him write it over and over and over again, several times. I said, you have a hard time. I'm putting that all over my lid. I said, I'm putting this all over my lid and hold on. I'll get back to my story in just one second. I'm going to go into this shade right here called Oro, not Oreo, Oro. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that on my lid right here. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. Wow, that is so pretty. I put a little bit in my inner corner too. Wow, that is really nice. I like that. Okay, I'm going to take the first brush real quick. Let me just blend out. Let's just blend it out. Okay, you guys, you know what? I think I'm just going to stop right there. Actually, you know what? I might... Mm, no, I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Aura right here. Uh, or yeah, I think it's, it, I think it's called Aura. And I'm going to take a um, 03 refer right here. Anyways, I had him um, write out several times. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Ephesians 6, 1. Yep, I had to pull out the book. The good news, because apparently he is not listening or obeying. And, you know, so I had to write it out a whole bunch of times. And then I'm like, you better do a good job because I'm going to check it. I'm going to put a little bit of that aura right here in the middle of the lid. Brighten it up a little bit. So I said when he was done, because he was, he was like not happy about it. So I was like, okay. Are you going to obey and do what mommy tells you to next time? He was like, yes. I'm like, do you like writing about, uh, writing a whole bunch of things? And he's like, no, my hand hurts. Like he was like really, really like, you know, upset about it. And I'm like, well, you know what? So am I. <laughs> so anyways, that's my, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right, let me go finish this eye and then we'll go back and we'll finish up. Okay, guys, both eyes are even thus far. I think they look really, really pretty. Daytime appropriate. I don't think that it is too flashy or too out of place to go run errands. Um, I am, mm, I'm debating. Do I want a tight line? Yes, I'm going to tight line, but I'm just going to do the tops only. Um, and I'm going to use my brown, um, but first espresso from Essence. And I'm just going to do the tops 
kind of keep the focus just on the top of the eye. So you can just see the difference. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, now let's go in with some mascara. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm not gonna do too much. Um, I don't want my um, eyelashes getting too, too long to where it looks, you know, too out of place. I just wanna go in with a soft touch. Like that, that's it. I'm gonna do the rest. Okay, guys, the mascara is on. Those eyes are gorgeous. This is a great, um, just everyday eye look. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. I don't know. You guys comment below. Tell me what you think so far. Um, anyways. All right. Now let's move on to the lips. I kind of wait, hold on one second. Let me look at this real quick. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I was thinking I might need a little bit of a deeper blush, but I think, I think it's, it's fine. Let's move on to the lips. And I think what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm debating with the lips. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Milani color statement lip pencil. And this one is in 09 spice. It is a beautiful, one of my favorite, um, lip liners of all time. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. So now I'm going to go in with the Ace Beauté. This is part of their Palladopoly line. And this is in the shade uh, Hologram. It's soft. It's subtle. It does have a little bit of a pinkish tone, but I think like a, but I think with um, mixed with that Spice lip liner, it'll be really pretty. Okay, hey guys, the lips are done. Looks so, so beautiful. I do want to spray the face really quick and I can hear it is, is it raining? Okay. I think it might be raining here. So, I mean, I hear the wind going and which here in Florida, it has been so, so hot. I don't know if you've seen in my last couple of videos, but like I am sweating. Like you can see the sweat just poking through. You can see all my pores and all their glory. The camera can't blur them out, you guys. Like right now, I'm not so hot. Like it's it's overcast and it's about to rain and I'm filming in the morning. So my skin looks a lot better than it normally does. <laughs> my, my sweat's not poking through. <laughs> But anyways, all right, Scandinavia, one of the best. Um, this is the bridal formula, one of the best setting sprays on the planet. If you, hold on. If you have oily skin like me or live in a real hot climate and you wanna save your makeup, Scandinavia is good. I wanna say that Urban Decay um, Scandinavia makes Urban Decay or, or vice versa. So, um, and Urban Decay has got a great setting spray too. You guys know how much I love that. But anyways, all right, you guys, it's time for me to show you the final look. Okay, guys, this makeup look is complete. That's using the new Natasha Denona Golden Palette again, doing just a nice soft day look. I think this, I really like this palette a lot. You're not gonna get intense looks, but you're gonna get really pretty, very feminine, very beautiful, very light. You know, look at this daytime look. I think it's beautiful. I think it's stunning. I don't feel like it's too out of place to go run errands, you know, casually. Um, I do think it's gonna be a great palette though for Christmas. I I think these true golds um, 
in this palette is going to be a really nice um, contender for Christmas looks. But anyways, comment below. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.